So, Mr. Ian. Yes. Seeing as you had so much fun doing your day three of my seven days of steampunk. Yep. I'm challenging you to create another project. Ooh. This time, I want you to create one of your little steampunk machines. Yeah. That incorporates mm -hmm. a gauge. A gauge. A switch. A switch. And some lights. And some lights. Mm. And would you like it to be wearable? That would be good. Mm. I have a plan. Bingo. Okay, Ian. Yes. Mr. Steampunk. <laughs> so there are two lumps of wood on my desk. What on earth are they for? They ain't lumps of wood. Are they not? No. Okay. So to start with, this is going to be the carcass of the box we're making. It's just a very, very it's a cheapish, I don't say cheap, we don't like the C word. Inexpensive. Inexpensive wooden box from, in the UK, it's called a range. You've got Hobby Lobby in the States. So it's just a basic it's craft just box. just a basic craft box, soft wood. It doesn't look particularly interesting like that. However... I noticed that the, the lid doesn't open. I've stuck it shut. Right, okay, you've glued the lid yeah, down. Yeah, sorry, yeah. I've glued the lid. I'm not used to this, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I've glued the lid down because we don't want to be able to open it because the way we're going to get into it is through a little window in the back, which I'll explain later. Okay, okay. so why are the hinges still on? Because I haven't taken them off yet. Are you going to take them off? I am indeed. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm so jumping ahead there. You are. So we'll go straight to... And here's one I prefer. Voila. Earlier. This one has had one coat of French oak wood stain, any wood stain you can use. A water-based wood stain? Yes. Right. Or you can use Tim Holtz vintage photo. All oh, right, so any kind of water-based ink stain. Any any water-based stain. I originally used to use vintage photo from Tim Holtz. Okay. Um, with a sponge dab and just go over it. All oh, right. Okay. So you don't have to go out and buy no, extra stains. No, 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 no. Use what's in your craft stand. Use what you've got. You could do any. You could do a um, a candied apple if you wanted. You could do a fossilized amber. You could do whatever colour you want. Right. But, you, I, but you've gone for wood colour. I've gone for wood colour because it's wood. <laughs> okay. okay. And it's obviously shiny. So it has. We've had three coats of polyurethane varnish. Okay. Is that is that um, water-based as well? It is. Right. And the reason I use water-based is um, I don't have terps or cl brush cleaner in the house. Thinners. Thinners because it smells funny and the dog won't like it. No. Okay. So it's all pretty much water-based stuff, which is also... More eco-friendly. It is indeed, and you can just, like I say, just wash your brushes in water, and away you go. So okay. this this has had three three coats. Right. Just bring it into the middle. Sorry. That's all right. Do you want to just lift it up so people can see what it looks like with it in? You can raise it up closer to the camera lens. That's it. Look at the wood grain on. That's beautiful. And what about the sizes? Okay, the size of this box is... We're going to do it in inches or centimetres. We'll do it in centimetres. The size of the box is... 100, 10 centimetres, 100 Which is millimetres. Four inches. By about 60. 60 millimetres, so that's just over, I'd say about an inch and a quarter, two, and a, two quarter. and a half, two and a half inches. And its depth is about 40 millimetres, right, which is about so, inch and a half. Yeah. Don't worry about the holes, they're going to get covered. Okay. Okay. So now we've got the stained and varnished box. We need to decorate it. Okay, so we'll go and grab the bits to decorate and we'll come straight back. Indeed. Well, this looks interesting. Okay, step two. <laughs> hey. To cover them, I don't use leather because leather... Um, some people are veggie vegan or whatever and don't like using leather. I don't use leather for purely practical reasons, the fact that it frays at the edges. And it's far more expensive. And it's far more expensive. Yes. So I use an upholstery vinyl. Okay, it looks like leather. But it's completely unfrayable at the edges. So is this what they call PU leather? PU. No, 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 no. PU leather is leather with um, a plastic coating on it. All right, okay. This is 100% this is vinyl. Right, so this has got like a fabric coat. Yes, it has. Right. It's what you would use in an old people's home or a rest home for chairs and stuff like that. Okay. Or anywhere that, that's going to have a lot of doctor's waiting rooms on them in. So like diner chairs? Yeah, like diner chairs, things. yeah. It's also... A little bit stretchy. A little bit stretchy, which is good. When it comes on the roll, or on, in the sheet form, it's yeah. not expensive. Um, I get mine off eBay. You can get hundreds of colours. I've got green, blue, brown, honey. Mm -hmm. there's, there's not hundreds, there's probably about 20 colours. Okay, and you've got a sample of brown there, but you've actually done the panels in I've green I've actually done the today. panels in green today. Okay, well. So, the, the, when you get it, we also apply 
um, a self a self adhesive. This is Mike's roll. Ugh! A self adhesive. It's, it, imagine a huge roll of double sided tape. Right, but this we we purchased this from an industrial sign makers yeah. store. Yeah. Um, it's not something that you can just readily go and buy in any craft store. But I believe um, Mr. Oliver, what's he called? Ken Oliver. Ken Oliver does a self-adhesive double-sided film similar. I think lots of companies out there do double-sided oh, uh, adhesive. Just, that's how thick the roll is, by the way. And you can have it any length you want. It comes on a six-foot roll. Yeah, we just have it cut to whatever width we want. His is bigger than mine, but hey, that's not important. Well, mine was right built. My, I got mine cut specifically for the journals. You did. So we apply it to the back, so in fact you then have self-adhesive vinyl and this stuff ain't going nowhere. No, it's very strong. So when we've got it, I then measure all the panels that I need and what I've done with the... Should I the ruler again please Mike? You can't actually get your proper one because that one's not a real ruler. Okay. What I've done with the box, I've measured the box and I've made the sides of it a lot smaller so we, we can there see the wood. Thank you. So the box, as we said, measures 100. I've made the panels just slightly smaller. 90. Okay. So there's five millimetres all the way around. What I've done is I've stuck the vinyl mm -hmm. onto the double-sided carrier sheet, then stuck that onto just some common or garden Dale Rowney mount board. I was going to say that's just mount board, isn't yeah. it? The stuff you make a mount for a picture frame with. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, or mount a photo on. Yeah. What I've done as well is I've got a Sharpie. I use W10 Sharpies, but you can use any, any colours you want, and I coloured the edges. Right, so it's a solvent-based Sharpie. Solvent-based Sharpie. And that disguises because you don't want to see the white onto the wood because it will look awful. Awful. Yeah. But when you put it on, mm -hmm. there. Back in the day, I seem to remember you used to paint the edges. When I first started, I thought, oh, it's a good idea. I'll paint them. So I used to use indigo blue, black gesso. And that took forever, didn't it? It took forever. Brilliant paint, covered beautifully. But I had to be careful not to get it on the fronts. Now I just get a pen and I go straight down with it, and we're good to go. Yeah. It's a lot quicker and a lot more. Inexpensive. So, so the panels that you've got here, okay, it doesn't really matter too much what the actual gap is, as long as they're slightly smaller to show yeah. a little bit of wood. It doesn't. <clears> so don't get hung up on the dimensions. No, as long as you can see a little bit of wood round it, you're good to go. You're good to go. Okay. So we have two of the long side. Okay. Two of the short sides. Uh huh. And two of the front. One for the front and one for the back. Okay. You may say, why am I covering the back in it? Because we're going to cut a window in the back to get the battery in. Okay. Okay. So... We're we dealing with electronics too. We are. Oh, this is going to be exciting. Okay, so all I'm going to do is put a little bit of glossy accents onto these panels. Mm -hmm. Glossy accent is, you know, my favourite glue in the world. Don't go mad with it because it will squirt out the sides. Yeah. Technically this is my glue. Technically, that is my glue, yeah. I was told a trick the other day by somebody. Oh, yeah. When you go around the outside of something, never go right the way around. Well, no, because it squashes. You've got the air trapped in the middle and the air can't get out, so it pushes the glue out. Oh. Yeah? So just leave gaps in it. Oh, I see. Because do you it mean will... don't do a complete enclosed line? Don't do a complete bead all the way around. Ah. So if you do... It forms an air seal. forms an air seal and the air won't get out and it'll just start to slide. That's clever. Okay, so let's do number one first. Don't worry about the holes. Because they're going to be covered they're up. They're going to be covered up. As if by magic. Just hold it for a minute or two. And of course, glossy accents doesn't take long to grab. No, it doesn't. It's just... Get, I don't want to make sure it's lined up. That's OK. Yeah, oh. A tiny little bit of a wiggle room with glossy accents. but That's not what I like about much. it. Yeah, but not too much. With it having the paper back in, it will hold almost, almost immediately. Fairly quickly. One. Number two. We're only going to stick on five sides, okay. all, all, all the sides and the top. We're not sticking the back on because obviously we need to cut a hole in it. These boxes are good because you haven't got to worry about using saws or anything like that. I use a, I use a scalpel. Because they're pre-made. Uh, yeah, but what I'm talking about, to make a hole in it. Oh, it's because it's soft. The site soft wood and you yeah. can cut straight through them quite easily. Because if you get a really thick box, yeah. you're going to have problems doing that because she can't. Yeah. Don't worry about shakes or inconsistencies like that. It just adds to, adds to the general... Steampunkiness. Steampunkiness. Two... This is a good technique, actually, if you've three, got like an old jewellery box or something you want to recover. Four. Well, we did boxes. Do you remember? We well, did yeah. a class. Yeah, we did. Um, 
so you could literally add like leather panels to the sides of any kind of old box that you've got. It just helps to bring to bring things to life. Yeah. Breathe new life. Breathe new life. Yes. You'll notice that they're both black on the back. The reason being is the panel, when you take it off the back to put the battery back in, you don't see white cardboard. No. It's just, it's just a detail thing. It, yes. But it also helps to... The small details. The devil's in the details. I may have said that before. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Oh, dear. Oh, yeah. There was a lump in that coffee. He probably swallowed a cocktail umbrella from his, from his 8 o'clock martini. 8am. Mm. 8am 8 8 martini, mm. yeah. Make sure they're stuck on. Okay. Okay, for you, it's going to be a matter of seconds till we come back, or minutes. For us, we're just going to go away now. What I need to do is... Oh, I've nearly forgotten to put the rivets on. Nearly. Nearly. Okay, so, the rivets are... Excuse the container. What's <laughs> the accent? Flatback pearls. Okay, so yeah. these are small flatback pearls. Three millimetre flatback pearls. And these are bronze coloured. The bron uh, they call them coffee or latte. Oh, okay. So readily available. Oh yeah, I go through millions of these. So I would say that was a bit of an exaggeration, but I know it's not. Every machine has. <laughs> the idea is that it, it, look, it looks like it's all riveted on. Mm. But in reality, I call them full rivets. It sounds better than pretend. Yeah. Oh, it's quiet. It's gone quiet. Do you want to um, just show them? Putting those ones on, that's it. Yeah, I'm just going to put these few on and then we'll finish the rest ourselves. I use the quick stick pickup tool. There's lots of pickup tools out there. You can still get those. We've had these for years, haven't we? Oh, yeah. This one's yours. Oh, is it? Yeah. It was, um, I think I bought that probably about the year 2000. Because you would never, ever be able to pick these up. Maybe with tweezers if you've got very steady hands. But as I may have said previously, when you're sticking on, don't go up in the air with it, because you're going to shake. I like to balance my wrist against the edge of the table and just stick them on, because it, there's no point making life difficult for yourself. Yes, I think you did actually mention that. Um, in the other video. In the other video. The that secret I, one. Yeah, that I obviously <coughs> had to review the footage after he'd done it. But, hey-ho, this is what prompted me to make him do this. OK, I'm gonna, I'll finish the rest off in a second. OK. OK, so we've now got all the... Little, uh -huh. just centre it up a little bit so people can see in the middle of the screen. That's it, and just lift it up to the towards the lens so you can get a little bit more of a, a detailed view. There you go. Just a little bit cockeyed, but just move it a little bit. And, and that's fine. You do. Yeah, it's fine. Don't forget it's steampunk. There we so are. That's it. Yeah. Okay. You know, steampunk is a bit like mixed media. It doesn't have to be one hundred percent perfect. No, it doesn't. I'm, I just that's what I'm like. I know. I know. Okay, okay, so now we're leaving that to dry. Yeah. We'll leave that to dry. We're going to put the others on. Leave it to dry. When it's dried, I'm going to drill a hole. We need to drill a hole in this side, mm -hmm. about there. Yeah. Because there's a piece of pipe going to go in, which is eight millimeter copper pipe. Okay, so in theory, let me just do that in in inches. So you're talking. It's an eighth. Two eighths. Two eighths. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, two, two eighths. Two eighths. So it's two eighths in diameter. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to drill a hole eight millimeter or two eighths in diameter. Put that in, and then I'll show you how to make all the light cluster that's going with it as well. Excellent stuff. So we'll be right back. Okay, we're back. We are. Okay. Just nipped into the workshop. I've drilled a hole there, which is eight millimeters, and I've also cut a hole in the back. Doesn't matter how big the hole is, just as long as the back flap covers it. And that's going to be for the battery. That's so we can get the battery in there. So that's just a standard 9 volt square battery. So it's got to go in there. Yeah. Lovely. Okay. So big enough to fit. Okay, before we go any further, what we need to do is we need to put the bend on. So the bend is going to go into there. Okay, so do you just want to hold those up to the camera yeah. so we can see what they are? It's an 8mm copper bend. Obviously, if you're degree. using imperial measurements... It's whatever size. Yeah. And then a little piece of 8mm copper pipe as well. That's probably about 20 millimetres long, or just about an inch. It's got to go through the outer of the box and give us something to glue yeah. on to. So, more well, 30 it's an inch. About an inch, isn't it? Yeah, about an inch. About okay. An inch. Okay, so, the, the adhesive I'm going to use, I don't solder anything, because it turns the copper 
blue. Yeah. And that's not the look I'm after. So this is this epoxy is resin. Unibond epoxy metal glue. There's lots out there. Mm -hmm. I just find this is brilliant and it dries in five minutes. So this is a two part. It's a two part tube, yeah. It looks silver. It is silver. Alright. Oh, As it says on the thing. Metal. So it's like it's like a metal embedded within a resin. Right. It's a bit sticky icky but I never seem to have any problems with it. Yeah, well then you just mix it together. Mix it together till it's a uniform colour. And you're just using a toothpick. I'm using a toothpick, yeah. Cocktail stick. I am. Or, what, how do they call it in Spain? Polilos. Yeah. <laughs> okay, what we're going to do, we need a little bit of glue in there. So we can put that in and we can get, that will then set. Then we can pop it into the box. Okay. But what we have to make sure is when we put it on, don't get it on the outside, on the inside, on the inside yeah. there. Put that in, but what you must do is this. Because if you don't, you'll block it and you'll never get the wires through. All right, okay. okay. So you're just, but just, just forcing air through just to, to clear are, yeah. a channel. Okay, then we're going to glue that one. This, this is a reducer. This is a 15 millimeter to 8 millimeter copper reducer. Go to your hardware store or mm -hmm. Your plumber's merchant. Yeah, just hold it into the middle of the screen. Sorry. That's it. Oh, yeah. I know you're not used to making these. Videos, no, I'm not. And then there's a small piece of 8mm again. Okay. What we're going to do, we're going to put, put a little bit of glue in there. Like that. This is the sort of thing you can just sit and do while you're watching TV, isn't it? It's not even a... You have to be sat in your craft room to do it. Oh, no. And, again, we've cleared the hole. Oh, yeah. putting see it all the way through. Yeah. yeah, that's those two. Okay, now we're going to make up the light, for the light fitting itself. While they're drying. While they're drying. So do you want to move that epoxy out? Well, the we need some more epoxy in a minute. Right, okay. Clear stuff, which is there. Uh -huh. So what I'll do is I'll just flip the card off there, put that over there, and I don't put my hands in it. Shall Sh no. I move it? Yeah, just put it there. We don't throw it away that we need the card. Okay. Okay, so this is the light we're going to put on the side. This is a garden light, it's a teardrop light. Oh, is this one of the ones that you get with like a little mini solar panel on it? Yeah, you do. Just to hang in the garden or yeah. under a canopy of a, a umbrella in the garden. But because we are incredibly jammy, that goes Oh, and it fits perfectly, into look there. at that. Needs a little bit of glue on it, which we'll put in a second. Okay. We're going to light it. We have two LEDs. Mm -hmm. One is a white LED, which we'll use on the cover on the front in a minute. Yeah. The other one is a multicoloured RGB. Right, so RGB means it goes... Red, green and blue. It goes through all the different colours. Right. But, let's have a look. That's the white one. Put that in there and we don't get it mixed up. <laughs> they all look exactly the same. Oh, yeah. The LEDs I use have got the inbuilt... Oops, there's it. I'm sorry about that. Got the inbuilt resistors so they don't... You can't blow them. If you put the black onto red, it just won't work. If you buy the ones that are raw with just the, that, the metal sticking out, you put them on the wrong way around, they'll go pop straight away. Right, so you can't blow these. You can't blow these up. This, they should go that way. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm not used to this. There you go. So you can see it's strobing through the different colours. Okay, but yeah. if I put it the wrong way around, Nothing it happens. just won't work. Yeah. But then I put it back on, and you just hold it off me with your eye to the camera. Ooh, flashy okay. light. Looks better out of this bright light. We'll see well, it when we're finished. Yeah. Okay, so we use a little bit of resin, and we're going to resin that into there, and, and then, then we're going to resin that to the inside. Okay. And this is ni oops, ninety second resin. This is this is a company called Daryl Dye. Lots. All you want is some very quick epoxy of two part mix. Okay. This is ninety second. All right. So you'll need another one of those. I will. Thank you. The reason I use two different sorts is. A, the metal one is very expensive, but also the fact that you don't want to be able to see the glue. Yeah. If you're going to mix the glue, make sure you mix it really, really well. It won't do it any harm, just have it mixed up. If you use the metal when you've got a transparent element, yeah. it blocks the light, so yeah. there's no point. So just a little bit in there. Bit more. Uh-huh. That then goes in there, push and twist. Not an unpleasant smell either. No, we've also got some, it's, it's squeezed out inside, so all we do is we pop 
that into that and we use our bradle or pokey tool just to push it home and I just hold it in place yes which means now you have a just hold that there Mike please in the middle of the screen so we can see it see the light and then now when we put the battery on it lights the whole of the tube up so we'll just put that to one side to dry okay do you want me to look after that just put that there okay so no no sorry <laughs> we we well, where were we make light fitting we're doing that we're going to do the front light now okay so what I've got is a piece of MDF mm -hmm. which is a laser cut MDF yeah and that measures my assistant thank you there you go that measures 80 millimeters or three and an eighth the, the hole in the middle is 55 or two and an eighth, an eighth. The reason I want to do this now is I want to stick this on with the bit of glue that's left. Okay. Before it sets. Yeah. All it is is to tack it on to make sure it's not going to move. Yeah. When I start drilling it. So there we are. And then that. Top bottom. Top bottom. Yeah. Which we get the right way around. Goes onto there. In between your rivets. In between the rivets. So that's. So already the steampunkiness is starting to show through. Okay, I'll leave that to dry and, we, and we'll be back to you in a minute. Okay. Is it stuck? It is. That's going nowhere. <laughs> okay, we've got three, we've got, well, we've got quite a few more steps to go, but we'll do it one step at a time. What we need to do now is to glue that into there. But because I don't want to see the raggy edges of the hole, mm -hmm. I'm going to put... Oh, a washer tied around a little it. washer. It just tidies it all up. Oh, that looks good. So, what I'll do to start with... Just nice bits of attention to detail. A little bit more, yes. Well, it finishes it off. Using it the silver stuff. I'm using the silver glue because it's the thicker of the two. I'm not gluing metal, I'm gluing the, the metal to the inside of the wood. Okay. But, let's move that out of the way. It's very, very gloopy. It's a great word. Gloopy, it is, isn't it? Creamy. It's almost like the consistency of toothpaste, isn't it? It is. I like to clean my teeth with this, though. No. You'd never ever get it off if you did. So I'm just putting some on the inside of the hole there. You'd end up looking like Jay or Jaws from James Bond. Yes, you would, wouldn't you? <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. And that goes in, push it in, and twist. And we need that to it, be. It needs to be straight up. Straight up in the air. Yeah. But because we want to make sure it's going to bond properly, mm -hmm. don't forget. Ooh, so <coughs> <coughs> in sawdust then, <laughs> and it's quite funny. Get the little bit of it off there. Just rub it with your finger. You can now the see the inside. Yep. What we're going to do? We're going to take the rest of the metal glue. Yeah. And we're going to pop it around the hole. Right, just tilt it slightly. Like that's it. Yeah. Okay. Just about. So I need to see what I'm doing though. Yeah. So basically, just put it around the outside of the hole. Where the where the hole where the the metal hits the wood. Yeah. Just add a bead all the way around. Yeah, or okay. as far as you can get. It'll yeah. it just helps to bond it. Yeah. And stop it from. Uh, That's a good tip. Well, if not, it could twizzle round, and if somebody drops it, I believe that my machine should be worn mm. and should be able to withstand some. Yeah. Wear and I'm not saying they're for children, which they're not, because they've got glass on and. Oh no, no. Kind of thing. So. We're looking there now, there's a bead round there. Yeah. Now these are adult toys. They are adult That sounds awful. No, it doesn't. Adult toys? These are cosplay items. Cosplay for items or decorative. Yeah. Okay, so that's now mm -hmm. super. So we'll put Looking that there. Good. Okay, we'll leave that there. Mm -hmm. Just a bit, bit of kitchen roll, please, Mike. Thank you very much. Move that out of the way so we don't get it everywhere. Okay. We are going to need some more again in a minute, okay. so I'll pop it there. Plenty. Okay. Remember we made this a moment ago? Yes. To, fit, to fasten it to the other reducer, we're going to pop it into a, a coupler. 
Right, so that's what that's called. It's called a coupler. Okay. 15 millimeter coupler. Okay. Basically that goes in there, mm -hmm. and then the other one goes through there. Remember to thread your, your wires. Yeah. Yeah. And then that goes, goes into in there. there. Oh wow. Okay. So with this one, well, we need a little bit more metal glue. Sorry, Mike. It's okay. So you just pass in. me the uh, the paper back. Do you want to cut it? No, no, no. The card that I've just used, please. That oh, one. that one. Yeah. It's still wet. It's still wet. Which means no waste. No waste. So we'll put a little bit on the inside. Push in and twist. There we are. That's not going to go anywhere now. Can you see it's oozed out there. Yep, brilliant. What we can do then is take that glue and take the excess out and put the excess in there, ready for the other piece. The other piece. And that is the light fixture. That is so to go on the side. Cool, isn't it? It's cool, isn't it? Remember, it's a sorry. It's a light with a reducer, an 8 to 15, a 15 millimetre coupler, an 8 to 15 reducer. It's a 15 and, to 8 reducer. Yeah, well it's the same one the other way around. Yeah, yeah. So, that's that. Okay. That will be drying, won't be dry yet because it'll take a while. Okay. But what we'll do while that's setting, yeah. we'll get ready for the, for the uh, to put the fitting on the front. Okay. Okay. Remember when you go out and about on a family day out or mm -hmm. when you were kids, you went to the fun fair? We did. In the fun fair you will have seen these round all... Oh, fun fair lights. Fun fair lights. Mm. One company in the world made these and they're based in Italy. Oh, right. They come in 20 or 30 colours. Yes. Okay. Normally they'd be on a board with a sign round. We don't want that piece but we'll save it because... It's useful. I use a lot of these in my other projects. Mm -hmm. But we have the cabochon. Right. The cabochon also comes with a back plate, a separate. So that you can have the same sort of light without having the depth. Yes, right. What I've done, it's got a 5mm on there. What I'm doing is I've just ground it all off to make it flush. Oh, okay. Because we're going to put that onto there. Oh, wow. Okay. So this acts as like a, a reflector for the light yeah. as well then, doesn't it? With a very small LED, you can get a huge amount of light from it. Brilliant. Excuse the back of my head if it's in, if it's in short, I just need to make sure it's in the middle. Okay. Yeah. What we'll do, we'll use the pokey tool, mm -hmm. or the brad doll. Okay. You seem to be pushing in quite, quite a distance I am. there. Yeah, I am. And then we have the screws. Oh, right, okay. We're going to screw straight in, are we? We are. By doing... Oh, I forgot... Oh, I thought I forgot my screwdriver then. I'm using posi-drive screws. The little... Um, but you can use any. You can use any screws you've got. It's just I buy You're not going to be seeing these, are no, we? No, you won't see these at all. No. Screw that onto there. Make sure it's level. It's one. Yep. And then... Sometimes I drill them, but these boxes have been quite soft. Yeah. Yeah, you can hear it. You can hear it going through. Yeah. And it's very good. That one as well. I brought two different size screws because there's a, a screw to put the switch on with. All ah, right. Okay, so we'll just put that into there. Remember, everything else is drying. We don't need to touch it, so everything will be fine. Mm -hmm. Okay. Excellent. Okay. But once the cabochon's on, even if you haven't got them level, oh, it won't really make no. any difference, will it? No, 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 because no. Because you won't see all. it. Okay. Trusty Dremel. Okay. All I'm going to do is I'm drilling a hole in there to put the LED in. Right. Bear with the noise. <laughs> what I've done, excuse me a minute. <laughs> is I've actually cut a tiny slot in there. Okay. That's not glue, is it? No, it's not. It's, it's uh... So shall I just dust off? Yes, please. Normally it just goes on the floor. Not in my craft room. Not in your craft room, it doesn't. Okay. So, we've now got... An LED. The LED. This is the white one. Right, do you want to just check? We will check, that? though, because you never know. Would you hold that one for me, please? It should be white. It was white a minute ago. Yep, 
So it's a white flashing okay, LED. It's a white flashing LED. Okay. So that then goes through. You have to be very careful with these because the wires are quite fine. So you're going to put them through the hole. You could if you wanted to just add a little tape on just to feed it. Yeah, you could. Don't pull them like that because you'll, you may pull them out of the LED. Yeah, out of the, so, the wires. So what I do is just push it in. Yeah. And just pull. Okay. I'm going to put a little bit of glue on there, I but you just, don't. I was just going to ask. But you don't need to because right. it's, you can't, once once that's on, it can't go anywhere. It can't go anywhere. All right. So we'll have a little bit of glue. Just a little bit. We'll put in the clear stuff. Yeah, I'll put the clear okay. stuff on a little bit. Could I have the other piece of card, please? Mm. Oh, thank you. No, no, don't ruin any more. Don't do it. You go through your card. That's your box board. No, it isn't. Oh, is it not? No. Okay. This is just box standard grunge board. Okay. And this is this again is waste not one knot. We'll use the other half of that one. <laughs> Very frugal. I used to use matches, but cocktail sticks or toothpicks or pelilos. <laughs> as your real Spanish for you there. Just me give it a good mix up. Once did a class years ago and the ladies just took it straight out of the tube and used it. Ooh. And then they didn't know why it wouldn't stick. So you've got to mix it, like, do you? I do. Right. So a little bit just around and the base. A little base. bit around the base. Because when you put it into the hole, it's going to push. Through. Ah, oh, there you go. And Perfect. hold it. It's just. Yep. Sorry, That's I'm not good at this. Towards you. There we are. <laughs> so what we'll do there? Yep. Super. We'll leave that to set for a couple of minutes, and we'll pop back to you. Excellent. So to ask the same question again. Yes. Is it stuck? <laughs> <laughs> That's going nowhere. Okay, brilliant. That's going nowhere either. Okay, next we need to put the switch on. These switches are so incredibly dinky. Yes. Whenever I build a machine, I always use these switches because if you're going to build a steampunk machine, you don't want to see a machine that's got plastic switch on it. No. Bit of a letdown. Yes. So this is a proper flick. Oh, it's a proper miniature flick switch. Rated up to 12 volts, so you can use it for dolls' houses or small projects. Model railways. Go on towards me. Yeah. So it's a flick switch. Yeah, a little. Cool. It even sounds nice. Okay, that's going to go on this side. So that will go there. Mm -hmm. We have to leave room because we also want to put on a mini gauge. Right. We'll go through how to make the mini gauges because it's a similar. We'll talk about it when we get there, but yeah. it's a smaller version of what we made. Okay. So how do the wires go through? Right. I'm gonna, what I'm going to do first, I'm going to screw it on. Yeah. So one. Two. Alright, so you just... Two, two screws. Right. So again, you don't have to drill the holes for this. No. I sometimes I do in the garage because it's a bit quicker. Mm -hmm. So that's sometimes what, what noise they can hear in the background when yes. I'm doing my art project. Yes, it is. Lots of elbow grease going on there. Thank you. It's an email I've just got. Um, well, there was a noise, but there's nothing showing up. We are. Oh, no. What's on that? Okay, so. Can't have been anything interesting. No. Okay, Mike. So, that's on now. Okay, so both screwed. As yes. you said before, how do we get the wires through? Yes. Trusty Dremel again. Okay. We're going to just press that on there. Uh huh. I'm going to drill. One. Two. So you've actually drilled through the base plate? Yes. It's only plastic. Okay. So. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. That's what I do every time. Because if you don't, and you use this, those holes, how you gonna, you're going to have to stick it on then. The important thing is, it has to be solid, it has to be robust. It has to be able to be dropped without breaking. Well, okay. On yeah. carpet. No, no, I understand. Okay. I, just, I just wasn't expecting that. Oh, well. Okay, so. Very clever. I know. Battery terminal. Right. Do you have a pair of scissors, please? Uh, I do. Um, Any scissors that don't really care. Just no, some behind funny. you. It's funny, I've tied it up. I gave you some back earlier. I know. Uh, I tied it up. 
There you go, some nice pretty ones. Thank you. Oh, look at these pretty ones. Just gonna. They cut, these come with soldered ends. Useless. <laughs> because I don't use wire cutters, I use my teeth. Fair enough. And, you, and if you try and pull it past the solder, it won't come off. Alright, oh, okay. But you'd, you could use wire strippers, you could actually just use a little bit of scissors, just very lightly. Yeah. But they are very fine wires. Yeah. Okay, so the way I do it is the live wire from the battery mm -hmm. is going through the bottom left of the switch. So basically when the power comes into there, yeah. it can't go anywhere until you flick the switch, the power jumps across there via that terminal yeah. and lights the lights. Okay. Okay. That seems so, fair enough. That seemed very, very easy. Okay. And so I'm glad I didn't film that. Me biting the ends off. Yes. And I've forgotten my screwdriver. Which one? The little one. The little one. Well, that's okay. We can take a break in a little while. Okay, so that's there. So that's the red through. Yeah. Very clever. Hello, Mr. Bentley. That's, that's the live in. Now, to get the live out, I've got a little short end of wire. Uh -huh. What I'm going to do there is... Strip it again with your teeth. Strip it again with your teeth. Fold the end over just lightly. Okay. Then that one goes through there. Right. That's bringing the power back out from the battery. Right. So when that's in there... Ah, right, I understand. So, you don't wire up the switch with a red and a black wire? No, because you'll burn the battery out. Okay, so it has to be the same colour? Yeah, so the red from the battery, red from the battery goes into the left hand of the switch. Yeah. The red from the switch goes back out and goes to the red of all the little lights. Okay. So you're switching on the live side. Yes. Um, you carry on talking just for a second because oh. I've got to deal with Mr. Bentley. Oh, does he want to go to bed? He does. Okay, fair enough. Get back okay, so we've got those two. I'll go and get a screwdriver in a second, but we need to put this one in as well. So there's it. We've now got the light fixture. Again, I'm going to strip those off the ends because if you try and put these through there, they will get caught on the inside and it doesn't work very well. So. Before you start to thread it through, curve the wires ever so slightly, because we have to persuade them to go, to go around the corner and back, by the way. And but they are, as you see, they're they are. easy. Believe me, if you forget to forget to use a little bit of air and blow out the glue, it is a nightmare. <laughs> that then sits into there. Yeah, like that okay. Looking good. Okay, so we just need a little bit of metal glue now to stick that in there. Okay. There we go, just a little bit. Yes. So you may have gathered I have put Mr. Bentley back into bed. Oh, bless him. He's got a bad tummy today. Has he? Yeah. Okay, so there. And what we're going to do then, lift that out. Do you want me to hold it? No, no, no. It's okay. Just there like that, it's fine. Oh, this is, this is to show you you can do it yourself. Yeah. <laughs> you don't need, you don't need two pairs of hands. No, you don't need two pairs of hands. Glue on the inside. Doesn't matter if you get it all over the wire, it'll just all go down inside. Yeah. Just need to borrow my finger. There we are, like that. And then that slides straight, in. straight into there. And then while it's wet, just twizzle it so you find the best angle so it's straight. I like the, I like the writing being shown on the... the yeah, on the trouble answer. is it's not... Oh, it is, yeah, that's, that's fine. Okay. I like that. Put that there. Mm -hmm. That will then... that needs to set now. Okay. So we so need to leave that for five minutes. So we're going to have another little break while you also go get your little mini screwdriver. Yeah, indeed. Let's just put that... Perfect. There. Perfect. Okay, so you go get your screwdriver. Yeah. And while that sets, and we'll be right back. I have trusty screwdrivers. Yay. Okay, so what I need to do, that's all dry now. Oops, nearly lost that through there then. There we go. Is just use the screwdriver to undo the little terminals. Oh, yeah. Don't need to undo them. If you undo them too much, they'll fall out and you'll have a devil of a chance to get back in again. <laughs> Particularly if they fall on the floor. Yes. Which they always do for me. So, just pop it in. Live wire in there. Mm -hmm. Say live, it's only a battery, it's not like it's running off mains. No, this is true. Okay, so that's the battery. Alright, just tidy that up. Turn that round. That's dropped out, but it doesn't matter. What's dropped out? The wire, the red oh. wire from the other side. All we need to do then is pop that 
into there. Uh, you can just, once you've secured that, you can just loop it over. Quite a thick wire this, so it's, yeah. it's got a bit of a mind of its own. Okay, and then we put the top. Nicely threaded. Thank you. Top back onto there. Cover all that gubbins up there. Gubbins, fantastic British word. Okay, so we now have the tube on, mm -hmm. the light on the front, we also have the switch on. Okay? Yep. What we'll have now is the little mini dial. These are made similar to. Okay, so now then. This is day six, You're right? which means they've already seen day three. So you know how to make the large ones. <laughs> These are made just slightly smaller. <laughs> yeah. okay, so they so, magnify again. And these are? These are millimetre wise. They're about an inch. About an inch across, yeah. 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 A little bit smaller. I love these mini dials. Just helps to give a bit of detail. Okay, yeah. so glossy accents again. Ever faithful glossy accents. And a little bit on the back, not a lot. Not a lot. Not a lot. Okay. Top one properly. Thank you. And then that is going to sit there. So what we'll do is just drop it on. So that's going to sit underneath the switch. Underneath the switch. The idea is that it's supposed to be equidistant. Yeah. So we see it grabs quite quickly. Yeah. And then just push. Hold Brilliant. it for a minute. Yeah. And that'll start to set quite quickly. Yeah, and let the glossy accents do its thing. And then we'll just put that there. And let glossy accents do its ting as Mike says. Do you need something just to pop underneath that end? I've yes, got this little be. doorknob that might no, just No, that help. won't work. Is it too big? Yes. No. Maybe the side? I'll put the battery under. No, it's fine. I'll put the battery under. Like that. And what we'll do is we'll come, we'll just get for two minutes and we'll come back. Okay. And we're all set. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's set. That's not going anywhere now. Excellent. Okay, we're left now with a plethora, nice word, of wires. Okay. Okay, so all we need to do we should have three of each. Yeah. We have one red and one black from there, one red and one black from the when, light on the front. When you say from there? From the light at the okay. side. So one red and black from there, one red and black from the light on the front, and two reds coming out of the switch. The switch. Okay. One, of course, is attached to the battery. So what we're going to do, any red wires that are left, we're going to put them together, so do these all just get wired together as one? Yep. Ah. So, excuse me while I just bite the ends off. Lovely. So <laughs> it's not even that complicated to wire things up at the end. No. So all, as long as you remember to stick uh, or to wire in all the reds together. And all the blacks all together. Blacks together yeah. You can't go wrong. No. Did you swallow that then? <laughs> Nearly. <laughs> okay. So, have you got all of the reds? One, yes. two, three. Okay, so wire, twist, pull. Yeah. Twist, pull. The wire that comes from the switch is actually a solid. So you don't need to. So you to. don't need to. Right. Okay, so then. All three together. All three together. And we're just going to take one and do it at an angle so it's, it's winding it round. Oh, okay, yeah. So, so it forms like a T shape yeah. and then you just. And then your arm's kind of like plaiting them together. There. You are, yeah. Okay. So do you cover these in tape? Or? I will. Be, I will be soldering these in a minute. So I will be wandering off. Okay. And coming back to solder them. Ah, right. Okay. And but then I if you didn't want to solder, you could a bit, of tape. a bit of electrical tape. A bit of electrical tape. A bit of cellar tape. It doesn't really matter. A little bit of electrical insulation tape. Yeah. Okay. So these to, these as well. So. Mm -hmm. You're just going to bite off the ends of that. It's much easier. Now. It, if you swallow it, it all comes out the same end. Oh, lovely. Such a... Oh, we missed a little bit on the... You oh, yeah. Right, okay. So, just the three okay. ends of the black. So, one. Same thing again. Two. Twist. And you say the one from the battery terminal is a solid. No, the one from the the one from the battery the one coming out that I put in as extra red wire is a solid, right. but the one from the battery is a multi strand like right, the okay. rest. Okay. Okay, so we'll just I gets you. He gets me. I gets you. Okay. Right. That's better. Okay, so we just need to get some soldering done now. 
Yeah, I'll just nip out to the garage and solder this. It'll be two, sh two shakes, literally. And then we'll be back when that's done. Right, as soon as we stop for lunch. Yes. I forgot my other way. We've just soldered. <laughs> okay. We've just soldered the wires. Right. I'm going to use a little bit of the electrical tape. You don't need to solder, as Mike said earlier. No, with some insulating tape. Once it insulates one to the other, it's, it's not like you've got high voltage. No, I'm just thinking that a lot of people may not have that soldering kit or... They don't need to solder. You know, they may not have... Just wind them together. Yeah. See, so these are, this is all stuff. Don't use washi tape. No. Because that's paper. Yeah. And if it gets hot... I mean, it won't get hot because it's, it's all you're running is nine volts. I know, but just in case. Yeah, just in case, don't you? Yes, yeah. Use a proper insulating tape. Or masking tape. Yeah. Masking, masking tape's tape. paper. Masking tape will work. I was talking to somebody about it the other day. They right. use masking tape or cellar tape. And all right then, a non porous tape. That's okay. better, isn't it? Just on there. Just imagine, can't you? My house burned down because you told me to use washi tape. Yeah, and if you can burn your house down using a nine volt battery, <laughs> congratulations, <laughs> Mr. Tesla. <laughs> okay. So. So while we've been doing that, you've soldered and insulated. Yeah. So they go inside. Yep. One there. Okay. Can we can we test with the battery now, just to make we, sure? Yeah. We can. Oh, puppy's back up. Yeah. Well, we had lunch, haven't we? Disgusted. So it'll be wanting okay. to go. Okay. So replant. we'll have a new battery. Take the thing off. Ta -da -da. Okay, so that's going in there. Hello, four legged friend. Hi, puppy. He's ignoring us. No, he's gone back to bed. That just goes into there. Yeah. Then we've got the panel. The panel that we had from the, the panel beginning. we have from the beginning. That then goes onto the back. Oh, that was my tummy. Was that your tummy or my, my tummy? My tummy. Good grief. It's and you've just, just eaten. It's just saying thank you for the Snickers bar I got out of the fridge. Was there a Snickers in the fridge? Yeah. Well, it wasn't a Snickers, it was a... It was a Snickers knockoff. It was a Snickers knockoff from the supermarket, yeah. Right. So, one. A low cost version. Okay, these, when I buy the boxes and they come with all the... come with all the um, hinges on... Right. I take all the screws out. And reuse and the screws. And reuse the screws to oh, put the backs on with. Genius, upcycling. Tiny little screwdriver. Watchmaker's kit. Yeah. Very, very inexpensive to purchase from the eBay. This was my dad's. Was it? Yeah. One. But it just goes to show though, you don't need to spend a lot of money, you know, on expensive equipment. Well, no. I, all I have is a drill and a saw and a soldering yeah. iron. Okay, when we move, I have a drill, a sort of soldering iron, and a very large laser cutting machine. But <laughs> so we will have a laser. We will have machine. a laser cutting machine. We will have a little joint. jar. We'll have a little jar next to it. Every time we use it, we'll put money into it mm. to pay for it. Okay, there we go. Three. Just it, it mirrors the fact that there are four on the front. Yeah. Okay, these are proper screws, they're there for rivets. If you wanted and you had the patience, you could actually put screws in every round every one. Instead of putting the four rivets on, yeah, could put do. screws in. Just for aesthetics. Just for aesthetics. But you don't really need to. Oh no, you don't need to. And of course, when it's time to change the battery, you just, you just unscrew. unscrew these and put a new battery in. Yeah. Battery lasts ages. Lasts even longer if you don't use it. This is true. Okay, so forever. let me just put these, all these little screws. Back into the little box. Okay. And then I suppose the last right. and final thing. Okay, right, this is the fun part. Just get rid of all the rubbish. Right, let's give it to me and I'll pop it in the bin down here. Yes. There we are. And that piece over there, look. Which piece? Oh, yeah. There we are. There we are. Okay, so this is the machine. I'll, I'll lean it onto there. Okay? Mm -hmm. We can now put our cabochon on the front. Okay. Remember when we talked about it earlier that from the fun fair you get the blues. The blues. Well, okay. we have turquoise or teal. Teal. Well, it's this teal. Yes. Amethyst. I call it Cadbury's blue because of the Cadbury's chocolate. Yeah. Okay. Doctor Who blue. <laughs> A police box. This blue. is the most popular, popular colour that I have. Yeah. We have fuchsia. 
which is a most glorious like colour. Like a magenta, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. We have clear. Yes. Because you can use it as a torch. Yes. We have emerald. Nice. We have orange. Or amber. Yellow. Citrine. Citrine. Yeah. I was going to say peridot, but Yellow. That's, but that's green, is it? And we have, the, we have the most wowie. It's like a fluorescent, fluorescent. pink. Well, what I'll do is I'll just put each one on and show you them all the different colours. Okay. Okay. So let's just put that. We'll put it flat on the table. Yeah. So that's the. Would you like me to turn the main lights off? I would. Off I would. That way. You're going to turn them off. Yeah. I'll so you can get a better idea of the actual light. So apologies for it going dark. You've turned the camera off. I haven't turned the camera. Well, off. The camera stopped. This is stopped. No. Signal. We're still recording though. Are we still recording? We are still recording. That's it. What happened there? I don't know. Okay, so we have. But you can see how bright those are. That's oh, just the window. On yeah, that I side. mean. So we've got fuchsia. Not fuchsia. Fluorescent. Yeah. Green. I'll do it that way. And it's easier. Yeah. I love that colour. That that's the teal. Yeah, it's the teal. We have. Purple. Amethyst. Oh, that's, that's orange lovely. one's a nice colour. Orange is beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. Yellow. Again, lovely colour. And police box blue. Doctor Blue, as I call it. Fuchsia. Uh-huh. And if you want to blind yourself, white. Clear. Which is good for a torch. It is. How can so, get flashing? <laughs> so what I'm going to put on, I'm going to put on, I think, the purple one. Yes. Okay. Shall I put the main light back on again? If you would. So I've just got to finish decorating it then. Okay. And hopefully I won't knock the, um, the cable this time. Oh, that was bright. And we're back on. Okay. <coughs> so, they're all the different colours. Yes. The reason we've shown you all the different colours is... Because you're going to sell this machine. I'm going to sell this machine or one like it. Yes. So we have all eight colours there. There actually is a ninth colour, isn't there? There's a red. There's a bright post box red. But you haven't got one. I haven't one. got one in. But, but it red will, is also available. Red is also available. So what we're going to put it on the website and you can order on the clear as well. So that sorry. makes ten colours. Ten colours. Yes. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to put it on the website. On my Mike's website. Mike's website. Yes. I'm going to take orders for them that will be bespoke for you, built mm -hmm. especially for you, and just pick whichever colour you want. Now, when you place an order, there is the facility to leave comments or notes. Yeah. Like, you know, please leave delivery in the porch or yep. leave in the garage or, you know, I hate you kind of thing <laughs> um, on every order. So you just have to say what colour out of these 10 you want, you would like. So we have bright pink. So that's the fluorescent pink. Green. Yeah. Orange. Yeah. Police box blue or yep. blue. Fuchsia. Yeah. Teal. Yeah. Yellow. Yeah. Purple or cabbage purple. Yeah. Or clear or transparent. If we can get a photograph of the red one. Yeah. I'll put a photograph of each of the colours in the gallery underneath this. Okay. Okay. Yeah? So, so you can see. The finishing touches mm -hmm. are just, we're going to put some larger rivets on the front. So some two. Four rivets. Three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. Okay, and these are slightly larger pearls. In fact, they're considerably larger flat back yeah. pearls. But again, you go through a lot of these, don't I you? I go through thousands of them. You just order these off the, uh, off the, the interwebs. Interweb. I do interweb net, yes. And by using the, put the sticky tool, it makes life so yeah. much easier. So the, these are a kind of like bronzy colour, but I think they're... They the, call them coffee or latte. Or latte. Yeah. Latte. You sound posh when you say latte. Yes. Well, that's how it's pronounced, I believe. I believe. Not being a coficionado. Coffee. Oh. And then <clears throat> just the other ones on. One. Two. Three. Magic. Okay, so, so what colour are you going to put on just for display purposes? Purple, I think. Or do you want to put teal on? I don't mind. Purple. 
Okay, and then I'll talk you through it again, and we'll just talk about all the pieces that are in it. Yeah. So there you go. I'm, I'm tempted to to tell my butter buttercup joke again. Okay, come on then. If buttercups are yellow, what colour are hiccups? Hiccups are purple. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what we've made. I love this. I love the colours that you get as it just strobes through all the different colours of the bow. Okay, so we've got an ordinary box which yep. we painted, which mm -hmm. we sorry, which we stained. Yes. We can use any wood stain or Tim Holtz stain on there. Yes. Let it dry. Yes. Three coats of water-based varnish. Yes. The panels are leatherette. Yes. Or vinyl. Stuck onto cardboard. Cardboard. Black edging. Yes. Stuck on. Yes. Four rivets. Yes. Then we've got some eight millimeter copper pipe. Yes. Into an eight millimeter bend. Yes. Eight millimeter copper pipe again into an eight to fifteen reducer. Yes. We've got a 15 coupler. Yes. We've then got a 15 to an 8 reducer again. And then your light. With the light in it. Which are available at most garden stores or even discount yeah. Yeah. stores. They will actually be going on my website next week. Yes. You my own website. Please. Yes. I will put a link here to Ian's website on screen, as you can see, and in the description area below for other bits and pieces. Because the switches are on there. The switches, the, the, these kind of lights, which are already pre. pre oh, everything's pre wired. They're all pre wired. Yeah. yeah. So, <clears throat> but I don't know, they, are they pre-wired with the coupler? Yes, the different, right? with the coupler, yeah, right, they come okay. like that. Then we've got the small gauge, you know, to make the big ones, small ones are pretty much the but same. if you can't be bothered, the small ones are also on the website. They are indeed. <clears throat> Switches. On the website. On the website. Then what we've done... The only thing that you don't sell is the boxes. I don't sell the boxes or, or the leather, or the, or the, leather or the cabochons. No, um, and the laser cut circles, cogs and whatever to put on the front. Watch this space. Yeah, this indeed. So there we have a bot, we have a wearable or a nice little item to put on. So with it, if we, when you say wearable? What we can do if it's a wearable is drill a hole in the top and it will come, if you state, when you order, if you want it to be wearable or to put in the house. If it's a wearable, it will have, a, I will drill a hole in it and I will put a ring on it and it will have a leather Have you got hanger. one that you can show? Yes, two minutes. Back in a sec. Okay, so we had a little change of plan, didn't we, about the design of the machine. Yeah. So we've actually made this now a proper wearable machine. So all you've done is you've just drilled a hole into the top, haven't you? Yeah. And put one, what do they call it? It's a up? shelf support bracket. Is that all it Book is? Bookcase, shelves, yeah. So like a, a circular... It's like a, yeah, it's like a circular with a, a, a knob. Like a loop. It. Yes. Yeah. And you've just dropped that in with glue. And it's epoxied in so it won't come out like we did with that one. Yeah. And you've just literally glued um, another little washer that around just it. holes in, yeah. Okay, but there's a belt loop. Mike's dad's made these for me. Yes. It's a 360 degree loop. It's on a, a leather... Leather strap. Leather strap. And it's got, what well, we've got a lobster claw. Yes. So all you do is just clip it over and then loop that through. And your then that belt. will go through the belt or on a, a strap on a corset if you're a lady. Yeah, so oh. literally it will stand up on its own, Yeah. like so, or you can now wear it as part of your apparel. Yeah. So that will be included in the price. It is, yeah. So there we are. So there you go. So um, this particular one, obviously that will make, what well, we made it in the video, will go on the website. If that sells out, we will add on more stock. It'll be exactly the same. Yeah. Um, and just in the dis when you put your order through, just say in the comments what colour cabochon you will like, and they will be listed yeah, on forget. the website as well. So, oh yeah, that's your favourite one, isn't it? So there you go. That is day six of seven days of steampunk. I've not done this before. No. So thank you very much. Thank you. Um, I know people have wanted us to collab on a project before, but really this isn't a collaboration. It's just me sitting here by your side while you've done all the hard work and past you things. Which is nice. But it's near enough. Um, so yeah, uh, thank you for doing that, taking part, for doing both those videos, even though the first one was the secret you, you one. snuck in without telling me. Um, and I hope everybody else has enjoyed watching Ian put this together. If you have, like I said, please remember to give the video a thumbs up. Thumbs up. Share the video with your friends, and if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel before, you can do so by clicking the button at the end of the video. But don't forget there's a link to Ian's website um, in the description area below this video too, so you can pop along and see some of the other bits and pieces that he's got for sale on his um, that you might want to use in 
a creation of your own. Exactly. Any problems, any, not problems, any questions, when you're making anything, drop me an email, I'm happy to help. Fantastic. So that's it for us for now. We'll see you all again Great. very, very soon. You do the left one, I'll do the right one. Uh, bye, bye for, for now. now. I'd like to say a huge thank you to all of my angels because without you, these videos would not be possible. Thank you. <laughs>